Whoa, it's Wolsey. Welcome back to another Geometry Dash video. Now, today I'm going to be going back into the review series once again to check out a new very sick level. I've already took a close look at this level because I find it absolutely fascinating. And it's a nightmare to search for, but here we have Pattern Seeker by Viat. Let me check if I know any other levels by this guy. I've seen his name around before. Yeah, you see Nexus is uploaded in a level by him. There's a couple of others, but Pattern Seeker is the main hit. And to me, there's a very very clear reason why. It is an epic rated easy demon for starters, but there's also a very cool gimmick that this level has that I've never actually seen any other levels go for, and it's so special for that reason. You see it says find the pattern in the music, so the level starts to fade out here. Ah, uh, <laughs> it's scary. You have to continue the pattern that the level shows you, which is such a sick idea. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to speak while I'm doing it. I might actually use a video just to showcase what I like about the level. I'm gonna be using Overdefo's showcase right here. It's going with an early Windows style. You can see with the GD font that it uses so cleverly. I mean, look at it. It so perfectly fits in with the, pretty sure these are just default in-game blocks, but it's going for like an early Windows style. With the mouse pointer, you see it's dragging along the slider to make the blocks more invisible. It's so Oh, cool. It's nice and slow in the beginning, so it showcases that whole idea in the very beginning, just so you get an idea of what's going on before it throws you into this really cool pastel color, planet-y. Oh, the overlay is so sick, too. Something I gotta point out about the overlay is how the left side is more covered than the right, so you can still see the gameplay and see the pattern more clearly before it's removed. I think that's so just genius and very fair to the player too. I mean, this part's kind of a bridge between two parts, but this spider part you'll see, you just click into the music and then it disappears and you're forced to continue that. I wanna quickly bring up this level, Crossroads by Embed, as an example of another level that uses invisible gameplay very cleverly. This one isn't quite as intuitive as Pattern Seeker, but I still think this is executed really well. And when you're actually playing it and learning it, it's very easy to figure out what's going on, even though everything is invisible. And I think invisible gameplay in general is a very untapped area of creating, but it's very hard to pull off. So that, it makes sense, right? But here's Pattern Seeker, a level that pulls it off pretty much perfectly with a really simple and easy to follow style that doesn't take away from anything that you're supposed to be focusing on. I just think this level is probably close to perfect in terms of its idea, its execution. You gotta make the same ship and UFO movements and it just gradually increases the detail and just tries to trick you. It's so interesting. Instead of tricking you with regular gameplay, it's tricking you with trying to obscure your vision of the pattern that you're supposed to be copying. And you see there's such interesting detail on the foreground with like module, pattern, 2.3, 2.4. It's so interesting how it's split up like that. It's so cool. And the transitions are sick too. I mean, look at that. What can you really ask for? Another text style on the left. The progression is so insane in this level at the same time. Is it just being really sick? So you see you're doing the same robot movements, but then it adds slightly more and more. The movements get more hard to follow, I'll say. But it's so interestingly varied. I don't know, I just think this is such a stunning way to pull off this concept. The theme is perfectly chosen as well. And it uses mainly GD objects too. You see more early Windows style on the top right. It's so cool how you just add random stuff on the top too. The level feels very miscellaneous, but it makes sense too because it's just trying to add more and more detail to confuse your brain with. Look at that, it's just covering the entire screen, but it works. Like, how often can you say a level covers up your entire vision and actually still makes you wanna play it? Instead of the level being either totally visible or totally invisible, it takes away your vision in a way that you're gonna understand. And look at it, dude, it's so cool how it just goes pew! It's so climactic too, without even doing too much with the visuals. It's just such a laid back, but also extremely captivating and interesting level at the same time. It gives off such weird vibes for that reason, but I can't say I'm complaining. Like the decoration is kinda whack if you look at it on a standstill, but once you just view it all in motion and have it make sense with the pattern and everything, it redeems everything. I can't really say there's ever been a level that I've watched a video of and wanted to play more than this. Because you watch the video and it's like, oh, this is a demon, but the patterns seem really easy to follow, but 
you do actually get tripped up. It's so weird. This level is so interesting, and it's so smooth, too. Like, Viet is such a cool creator. I suck at his levels, though. This beginning reminds me of, like, an Equinox part with the pastel colors and the blending opacity overlap thing. And just the way that you're incorporating text is so interesting to me with smooth movements as well. There we go. I got past it. Let's see what happens now. It's gonna be hard for me to speak and play at the same time, but this spider should be pretty easy to follow because it's just clicking to the music again. Oh, it's scary though. This level is so sick. It's intimidating, but I also know exactly how to do every part, if that makes sense. <laughs> There's a key here that I think you need to get. There's some sort of coin that you see once and you don't see the rest of the time. So if you miss it on the first iteration, you're going to miss it on the rest. It's something extra to look for in such an interesting way. Because if you had the key visible the entire time, then it would kind of give you a hint on where to go. It's like something hidden on top of something being hidden. <laughs> That's why it's so interesting to me. No! This gameplay is also really fun in general, even if it's not going invisible. It's also nice to be playing a demon with a gimmick. Because normally when you have a level with a gimmick or some sort of game mode, it's easier. Oh, come on. And the reason for that is the creators are generally scared of people not being able to pick up on a gimmick too quickly. But the way that this level paces the gimmick being revealed and makes everything abundantly clear just makes it so acceptable for me and fun to play. Like, I'm not practicing because I just want to get through the level with my own feeling. That transition is so satisfying. Oh god, this pattern is slightly weird. Ah! But yeah, normally with these review videos, I'll be going into the detail and stuff, but that's not what this level's about for me, so I feel like it would be unfair to judge the level based on that, because there are a few flaws in the detail, but at the same time, the theme really enables that. The old Windows theme with glitches and stuff, you can see the pulses here are really contributing to that whole idea. Even the level name has X's in it, which could be interpreted as some sort of virus or like, I don't know. Damn! It's nice to have a level that uses the song so well, too. The song literally enables this gimmick, it's so funny. But that's not without any of the creator's effort. The creator's put a lot of effort in to make this possible. Even if the detail is not too crazy or anything like that. Okay. Oh my god, that's so weird! Alright, we're moving on. Robot. I'm kind of scared of this, to be honest. Just gotta follow the music here. Without practice, this is scary! No! It's pretty much invisible. Wow, you really don't catch that in the video. How invisible that actually is. It really just moves it up in your face. It has a couple of different methods of obscuring the gameplay. You see in the beginning, it literally just makes everything invisible, but it then adapts to some sort of movement. And then at the end, you saw with the black circles over everything that it just completely obscures the level, which is really cool progression. I like the fact that the idea has been executed in a bunch of different ways. That middle part has a bunch of extra blocks to throw you off, which is probably my favorite way to do it, but I could be biased because I like the effect in that part too. Like, this level is advanced not just because of the gimmick, but some of the creating techniques too. You can tell that Viad has a pretty good understanding of the editor at this point. You can tell that a lot of thought has went into this level, and it's very polished, so I'm expecting that a lot of time has been put into this as well, and it's definitely worth it, because this idea has never been close to executed in this way before. Oh! There's another block in between that block and the orb. Damn. I'm so overly stimulated by this that I just want to speak everything that comes to my mind because there's so much running through it, I don't want to forget anything. This robot's been the hardest part for me so far because there's a couple of blocks you got to drop down to reach the orb at the end, and I just can't do it! I just can't do that one part. It trips me out so much. See, here... All the blocks are flat, so you get a really good sense of the melody and the sync that you're supposed to follow. But as the melody is more complex in that part, it's slightly harder to follow because you're dropping down at certain points to fit with the music, which makes sense. Also, I got a comment on how clever it is that when there's more blocks to follow, you've put the parallax effect. I think that's genius because that gives you so much more to look at because you're adding a couple more blocks every time. But for my perception, god damn it, there's so much to look at. Like, I just get lost in that part and I just have to follow my click sync, which is the whole point. You see at the beginning it says click to the music, which is something that I am not doing. The mouse cursor and the font have the exact same format with a white inside and a black outside to differentiate from everything else, which is so convenient for this creator. It looks so good all together. You've matched that with the spikes in that part. Okay, this one's much more easily synced to the mute. Wow, I'm silly. I say as I die. It really makes you think. It's so much easier than it looks, I'm not gonna lie. Like, in terms of gameplay and just how well this idea is executed, this might be one of my favorite levels of the year. Not even kidding. This is astounding. Like, I can't believe the experience I'm getting with this level right now. Like, I feel like every single death is my fault so far. Oh, that's so weird! Oh, that's so weird! That's so weird! Why do I know what to do? 
Please don't block my robot jumps. I suck at robot. Okay, repeats. That's so intense. What the heck? Oh my god, that level bang is so hard. It's so good. No practice mode. Dude, I did not hate a single second of those 15 minutes I just spent on that level. So, so good. Let me just quickly take a look at hand eyelids by the same creator just to see if I can notice any similarities in the genius style that this guy has. Oh, interesting. There are a few gimmicks which I'm noticing. Oh god, it's so trippy how he puts like visual tricks and that sort of stuff into his gameplay instead of actual difficulty. It's so crazy. But then it's so seamlessly blended in with everything else. Oh god, the swords are moving at a different speed. That's so cool. I can't believe how easily this guy just fuses normal gameplay with the craziest gimmicks you've ever looked at. What the heck is that in the middle? I, uh, bro, this guy is insane. Shout out to Viat for real. Oh, the shifting side to side, dude. I can't believe how creative this guy's gameplay is. You gotta check some of these levels out. Oh god, this is crazy. <laughs> okay, okay, it kind of took a weird turn here. But that is fire. That is so cool. I'm gonna give this level an 8 out of 10. I love seeing new ideas, even though we're like five and a half years into one update. We're still getting new ideas. Like, come on. Insane stuff. Thank you so much for watching this John Dash review series episode. Sorry a lot of it was focused on me playing the level, but I feel like it's unfair for me to critique something when the main focus of it is on the gameplay. Thank you so much for watching. Check the links in the description, leave a like and subscribe, and have a good day.